Hello everyone, this video is follow up on uh, the uh, single pass uh, part one video and this is part two and uh, I'm gonna address a few of the problems that I faced when I was trying to print the image that I ended up with the previous video and I'm gonna explain here where those problems are uh, coming from because I was still uh, printing the white layer on the top of the color layer and not underneath it. I'm gonna take uh, the image a few steps back uh, toward that was towards the end of the previous movie and I'm gonna start from here with those few steps back. So um, we are right now in CMYK mode with the channel cyan, magenta, yellow, black. If you remember what we did in the previous movie is we used this black channel and we tried to convert it to white because we have the white toner and with the select color range I picked up the white color here and um, I filled it black edit fill now if I want to one step I didn't mention in the previous movie if I want to make sure that I'm filling 100% black and not mixture so here I'm using a spot color black I'm going to go to make sure of that to color and I'm look here when I'm choosing the black I'm choosing 75 68 67 cyan magenta yellow and 90% black uh-uh that's not what I want to do this is why I when I printed the image as a test on a color sheet of paper I got um, kind of an off-white or murky color it was not accurate uh, white it was not simply so we need to do it here zero cyan zero magenta and zero yellow and 100% K we do know that when we are choosing this you don't get that rich black rich black is not 100% K we know that already but I'm not printing rich black here. I want to make sure that's nothing coming from the other color toners and that the white is going to be coming only from the place of the black toner because I swapped that black toner with the ghost white toner. All right, so after we make sure that we got C, M, Y, all of them to zero and the K 200, now we hit OK. And now I'm choosing this color as my accurate black. And that is going to guarantee to me that this white under base, when it's going to print, is going to print 100% white. All right? Makes sense. All right. So if you remember, I ended like this with the previous uh, video. And I'm going to turn this image in. Uh, I'm sorry, the channel on and off, on and off. So whatever is black here is going to print white. Okay, so we ended up trying to prepare the image to print uh, on the A sheet and B sheet. In this movie, I'm not going to press the image because I have flaws still. Uh, and I didn't resolve it, to be honest with you, with this approach. So turning the black channel into a white channel did not help me. All right. So let me, uh, if you remember what we did, we changed the CYM and we, which we, um, we uh, mapped the, all the channels to uh, the cyan, magenta, yellow. Let's do that now. Okay. But just, I want to keep first, uh, I want to keep first this selection to copy it on my clipboard edit copy all right because i'm going to use it later on now i'm going to edit cut it because i don't want it edit undo i'm sorry undo let's instead of doing that let's step back step back all right and edit step back so we are where we were all right and whenever i want i i, I can lay that uh clipboard on it by doing paste and it's going to be here so let me let me just go ahead edit undo paste all right so i'm still keeping it in my clipboard now uh, 
what we did, if you remember last time, is to map all the channels to CMY by going to the uh, color setting and going to the uh, US web coded and we changed that to custom uh, CMY and we made that zero to tell um, the printer not to use any other channels here and just uh, to uh, use the CMY and if any black in it to mix them CMY and not to use the black toner which is going to be now white so we changed that and then the image let me go ahead and change the image to RGB and I'm gonna change it back to CMYK and now we're ending up with an empty channel all right this is an empty channel so let me uh, turn it on and off and nothing is happening because it's empty channel right now um, and if you remember what we did is to go ahead and uh, paste and lay that uh, white under base on it so edit paste because it's now on my clipboard and select deselect okay and that's where I was and I printed this uh, as a test and uh, I'll show you the results so what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna print it on a uh, letter um, uh, that is kind of reddish that will show more the uh, white so let's go file print and I'm using the laser jet because I'm printing from the letter I don't want I don't have to use the A tray so I can use the B tray or the second tray so I'm loading those uh, colored papers in the second tray so I'm going to use this and we'll go to the color and I put it to manual all right put it to manual and the reason why I put it to manual because I want to change some of the settings where I will get the neutral grays for the photograph to print black only and everything else if I want to do text if I want to do graphic what have you I want to lay down white I have to print black only okay so we'll hit OK and I asked the printer not to interfere with the color theme and I put this to none so we hit that OK and I'm using my color profile and Photoshop to manage colors okay let's print and I'm gonna go with you to the printer which again I'm using here um, a reddish color let's take a look at the printer so here was the first flaw and a big one and the reason why it's a big one because the white color first when I did it it was a mixture and second it was on the top so we fixed the mixture I think it's gonna come up now nicely white but then it's on the top of the image not on the bottom of it oh it printed one uh, layer only I'm sorry because I was not I was not including the rest but that's good I want you to sh uh, to see how the white color comes out let's try to look at it so it's gonna print only white here all right got some of the colors okay still the white is nice but it's on the top of the image not on the bottom of the image all right so let me I don't have many of those papers so I'm gonna load this back again to use the back of it and now I'm gonna include all the layers I'm gonna include all the layers here it, it picked up some of the colors because the eyes are still on so I don't know it picked up some of the colors but now I'm gonna print one more time hit the print we're not gonna change anything hit the print and let's see what that comes out
Oh, proceed. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Proceed. I'm sorry, guys. This is <laughs> taking some long time. But it's unedited, and that's a good thing about it, that you see real-time what's going on. Okay. Let's take a look and see what we have here. All right, wonderful. Actually, it didn't because all the eyes were on, so it picked up all the layers and it was laying the white on the top to the degree where I was not able to recognize any color actually. Whoa! So it printed all the colors and the white was on the top where I could not recognize that there were any colors underneath, it just uh, laid that white color on it that's the big flaw guys and I have the solution I have the solution let me show you the solution to it so that's the problem I faced I solved problem number one because let me take it to the light here so it will show better let's put it here and look how beautiful the white is okay the white is beautiful it was the same as the previous one because all the eyes of the layers were on even if they were not picked up it kind of printed as an image and let me do this and the white is beautiful but it's a shame that it's on the top so i cannot i cannot use the black channel as a way of doing this in one single pass what do we do what the solution here's the good news all right let's go to stepping back here i think this is still on my clipboard so let's step back edit step backward edit step backward so i brought it where it was this is an empty channel right this is an empty channel and when I turn all the eyes on, if I click it on and off, nothing happens. So what's the solution? How do I get that white under the color and not on the top of it? And how did it skip me? It's very, very simple. It is very simple solution. Just put it on a layer underneath. Let's go to layer. I am on this layer. Let's turn this one off. I don't want to see it right now. I'm going to go ahead to edit, paste. I have it now here. Turn the, the uh, color layer on and just bring that white layer underneath. So I have the color layer. I have the white underbase that looks black now. Let me turn this off. And this is the one that's going to print first and then it my printer is going to lay the colors on the top of it would that work let's see all right i'm gonna use my finger here to use shift and the click to choose both layers so when i'm gonna print i'm gonna print those two layers those two layers and i'm gonna go ahead to file and print I'm not going to change anything in the setting. So my Photoshop is managing colors and I'm using the profile and I asked the printer um, uh, not to interfere. Hit the print and let's see what we have. Oh, I need to proceed. Sorry for that, guys. Because the... Uh, image was a little bit more than the border of the paper, so it tells me that it's gonna clip it I say okay go ahead and proceed I didn't bother shrinking the image a little bit I don't know why I did that I'm sorry for it and here is the solution I nailed it this is the solution for one single pass having the white under base really under the color 
and now the proof of the pudding is in eating it and this is the proof this is the proof <laughs> I'm very happy okay let's lay them next to each other let's lay them next to each other and look now the difference colors are beautiful the white is really under not above colors are vibrant and this is the difference between the two this is when I was making the mistake and this is when I corrected it again um, special thanks to David Lewis uh, for pointing the flaw to me and I'm gonna keep the previous video because it's always good to learn from our mistakes when I was uh, having an email conversation with uh, David from Ghost White Toner he told me why did you remove the previous videos keep them even if there was a mistake keep it and we build on the mistakes and we come up with something new all right the next step I can tell you I nailed it the next step is gonna be I'm gonna print this image well guess what I'm gonna print it on uh, the B sheet one single pass no registration issues and I'm gonna mate it to the A sheet weed them off and press them on a black t-shirt all right guys uh, uh, I'm sorry for the long video but uh, I had to point out my mistakes and to show the uh, accurate steps and I'm out of here. See you later. Bye.